If you love to hike, or you just prefer the views without logging the steps, there is a New Hampshire vlogger that has you covered. Taylor Tognacci is better known as the New Hampshire hiker to her 14,000 YouTube subscribers. The Gilmanton resident loves all things outdoors and sharing her hikes with the world through her videos. It was after work one day and I was just on a trail and I just took out my camera and started filming. Hey guys, it's Taylor and I just wanted to do a quick introduction video. When she began her channel, Taylor had one goal in mind. I found out about the Appalachian Trail from seeing people post YouTube videos about it. And I just kind of wanted to document the whole thing. I thought it was a really nice way to be creative and just kind of get it all out there. And it just kind of did really well. So I just kind of kept it going. The New Hampshire hiker admits she didn't even know about the Appalachian Trail until 2017. I just kept thinking about it and I would talk about it with like my friends and family a lot. And my boyfriend just one day was like, well, why don't you hike it? So in 2020, Taylor headed south where she began her journey. All right, this is the official start of my first full day on the Appalachian Trail. I had such a good night's sleep. It was cold, but I slept, my Fitbit said almost 10 hours. I put out a vlog almost every day. It was just like maybe like six to 10 minutes throughout the day. I'd put a video out and just talk about like, this is what the weather's like. This is how far I'm hiking today. This is where I'm sleeping. This is what I'm eating. So I just try to share as much as the journey as I could because when couple, like a year or two ago, before I was planning on hike, hiking the ET, I would watch other people's vlogs and I was really interested in like what they were doing throughout the day. So now I feel like it's my turn and I wanna share everything about the journey that I can. The timing of Taylor's through hike happened to hit just as the coronavirus pandemic began to spread, shutting down the country and her journey. And I hiked for about three weeks until the Appalachian Trail Conservancy told everyone that it would be a good idea to go home. I completely understand. I was happy to follow their guidance and go home. And so then I just went home and started planning again to do it the next year. Taylor describes herself as an easygoing person. So although the abrupt end to her adventure was disappointing, it didn't mean it was the end of the trail. I felt like I was flexible enough with my life. I was like, I'm totally fine going home, waiting this out and trying it again later when it's safer and we know what's going on. It also didn't mean it was the end of her vlogging. Hi guys, in this video, I want to go over all the clothing that I'm taking with me on the Appalachian Trail. Right now, I'm really just making videos about preparing for the Appalachian Trail and all my gear and thoughts, and I just put everything out there. But over the summer, when I was hiking much more closer to home and local, I just tried to feature a lot of local trails. Um, a little small through hike. The outdoor enthusiast keeps her filming setup pretty basic. I'm super simple. I use my cell phone for everything. I only film on my cell phone. I have this little mini tripod that I will take hiking. And then sometimes I edit the videos right on my phone or sometimes I come home and put them on my computer and edit them that way. But it's usually a really quick process for me. Um, I'm not super fancy with the editing. I just keep it real. And She also has a hiking buddy that brings her own fan base to the channel. Callie just got her zoomies out. Didn't you? You like being off leash in the snow. I have a Wheaton Terrier mix dog that she's six years old and she hikes a lot with me. 
She doesn't do like the huge, she won't do the Appalachian Trail, but she can She can do some big miles in the whites with me. <laughs> Next up, the New Hampshire hiker will attempt her AT through hike again, documenting her journey along the way. But after that, she wants to head back to her roots. I like this area, so I think I'm going to do a lot more in New England and New Hampshire. I think it's, well, it's a really good way for me to be creative because I really like, I don't know, do, like making the videos, putting it together. I really like hiking, obviously, so being able to combine the two. And then I've gotten a lot of people that say that the videos help, like planning their hikes and getting gear. So I think that's really cool getting feedback from people that watch the videos and they really tell me that they appreciate it. I just try to make it very personable and connect with everyone.